A gentleman brought me this drone for a pier, and believe it or not, it's the third time he's had it in here with a burnt out motor. Now this particular design has known to have a high failure rate with these motors, but in this case I think I kn know why the motor burnt out. What happened is while he was flying it, the propeller hit something that prevented it from turning, and when you bog the motor down, the current it draws is much higher than if, if it were spinning. And in fact, I set up a little demonstration here where I can explain how that works. Here we've got a DC motor hooked in series with this milliamp meter, and you'll note that when I take my hand and try to slow this motor down, you can see the needle on the milliamp meter pegging out there. So you can see it's drawing far more current, and that's essentially what happens with your drone motors when you bog the propeller. Now a lot of these uh, higher end drones are going to have overcurrent protections so that if you do bog the motor down and prevent it from turning while your throttle's on, you're, you're not likely to burn them out. Uh, I don't believe this particular model does. I might be wrong about that, but the fact that it goes through motors so quickly makes me wonder. Now I took apart one of the old motors here so you could actually see the windings inside of it. And I'm rather impressed that they can throw together something this small that actually uh, works. And you can see there isn't a whole lot of wire there, so any kind of uh, any kind of obstruction to the propeller turning is going to make it draw a whole lot more current. It's going to get hot real quick, and this thing burned out almost instantly. So there you have it. I just thought I'd make a quick video on that because I know these drones are becoming quite popular. Hope to get one myself one of these days. They look like an awful lot of fun. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.